Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you struggle to build deeper connections with others? Are you looking for ways to connect with people beyond the surface level? Today's video is sponsored by SoSynced, a place where we can match partners by personality types based on the 16 personalities model. You can access it by clicking the link in the description below. Hey, Psych2Goers. So you've been chatting with someone online when you start to get a feeling in the pit of your stomach. No, it's not last night's burritos kicking in. It's butterflies. That exciting feeling you get when you've just realized you like someone. So the question is, how do you know if they like you back? I mean, most of your communication has been online. It's pretty difficult to know. Well, here are six signs someone online likes you. Number one, they'll often use the social media platform that you prefer. So you have your social media platform of choice. You're comfortable sending the good old gif, or is it gif, and meme from there. And you think there's no way you'd turn to another social media site. That is until you get a text from your crush saying that they're more often on another one. Time to install. The thing is when people often have a crush, they'll wanna please them by doing what's comfortable for them. If that means simply downloading another app to text on, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So pay attention to if that person you've been chatting with online has a newly activated account on social media. Did you mention it was your app of choice? Number two, they crack a few jokes in an attempt to make you smile or laugh. So you're texting this person and they suddenly send you a giraffe meme. You don't know where they got this idea that you love giraffes or <laughs> that you're a meme fanatic, but you love it. You'll ride a giraffe to your honeymoon. Okay, let's, let's take it easy. But it's nice to know that they're trying to make you smile. If you find they're cracking a few jokes, sharing silly photos of themselves, or sending a few funny gifs, more gifs, or memes, they're likely putting in that extra effort of finding the most hilarious thing because they're trying to get you to laugh or smile. Because why wouldn't you want the person you like to smile? We talked about the importance of your potential partner being attentive and remembering the little things, which is why SoSynced could be the right app for you. They pair couples who have the right amount of similarities to get each other and just the right amount of differences to create that spark for deeper, meaningful dating. Upon taking the personality test, you discover your personality, such as INFJ, so thoughtful, or ENFP, so curious. Once you have mutually liked each other, you can start messaging. We want to send a massive congratulations to Hannah and Brendan, who are getting married in December after meeting on SoSynced, the dating app that matches compatible personality types. Hannah is a psych to goer who discovered SoSync through one of our videos. She downloaded the app and found Brendan all within a matter of hours. Hannah is an ENFP and Brendan is an INTJ, a perfect personality match. Download the app for free today in the description box below to meet that special someone on your wavelength and give yourself a chance to find deeper love. Number three, they respond fast. How fast does your crush respond to your texts? Do they leave you unread for hours? If someone genuinely likes you, they won't wanna leave you waiting if they're not busy. If they have time to talk to you and wanna talk to you, they will respond quickly to your messages. Many people have busy lives or hectic schedules, so don't take offense if they don't always respond right away. Your schedules may simply not match, but a good friend will generally let you know when they suddenly disappear from the online conversation or if they've been busy in a short or lengthy response later. And if they really like you, they'll make sure to keep the conversation going when they're not busy, which brings me to my next point. Number four, they continue with the conversation and add to it. Does your online crush add their thoughts to your conversations or do they only provide minimal responses? Sometimes there's simply not a lot to talk about and it can be a bit nerve wracking thinking of what topic to bring up next when you're anxious about liking someone. But a good friend will generally try to keep the conversation going if they're not too busy. This could mean bringing up things about their day, interesting comments on a show they're watching or even sending those funny giraffe memes we talked about they'll simply make an excuse to talk to you. And once you start talking, they'll generally put in a bit of effort into keeping the conversation going. That is, if you put some effort in too. 
If you don't, they may be wondering if you like them as much as they like you. Simply put, if you're having a fun time talking to them, casually let them know. Romance is soon to follow if you both like each other and express it. Number five, they show interest in what you text. So you just sent a long three paragraph explanation on the meaning of life, ignore what context, and you eagerly wait for their reply. Typing, 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 K. They respond with K. Bruh. If who you're texting shows minimal responsiveness and generally no interest in your opinions or thoughts, they probably aren't feeling it. If someone likes you, they'll generally wanna know how you're doing. A quick, how are you today? Or a follow-up question to what you discussed yesterday are all good signs. And if you express your opinion on a personal topic or even a random one, they generally give you some sort of excitement or thoughtful response if they like you. If they show interest in what you have to say and you display interest in what they're sharing with you, it sounds like it's time to let them know you'd like to explore a more romantic relationship with them. And number six, they often initiate the conversation. Does your crush text you often? Do you both check in on each other each week or even day to day? Someone who's interested in you actually texts back and they'll often initiate the conversation just as much as you do, if not more. Remember the whole, how are you, checkup text we mentioned? People often text that or something similar when they like someone. You should too. But if they also strike up a conversation on an interesting topic frequently, they're likely into either being friends or romantic partners. I think we're hoping for the latter in this case. Maybe you both have similar interests or hobbies. If so, they will likely wanna text you about them and start up a conversation about these topics. More importantly, if you text them often as well, they make sure you don't fall out of touch. Every healthy relationship requires good communication. So pay attention to if they actually communicate with you. And when in doubt, try simply asking them so you're both on the same page or send a giraffe meme. Mm, you know what? The asking is probably better for the context.